What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Philip. I uh, just wanted to uh, check in. I wanted to do a comparison video of Bol Bol and Wimbenyama. Um, obviously, you guys know that I'm a fan of those really tall guys that are very athletic and skilled. Um, so I want to do a comparison video. Um, obviously, Shaq came out and said that we've seen a Wimby before, and I just want to kind of do a little comparison. Uh, I was actually high up on Bol Bol early in his career, um, even coming out of college. Um, unfortunately, he got injured, but he is seven foot two. He is the son of uh, Manute Bowl, so he has the NBA pedigree, um, and he has a seven eight wingspan. He's uh, very long, can shoot, has a handle. So I really thought he was like the second coming of KD um, early on, um, and then he just like he got injured coming out of school, um, and then he could like never really get back on the court. So. Um, he had a chance with the with the Orlando Magic, and he showed spurts, but he's not very consistent. And from my um, you know NBA circles that that you know that I run in that we talk about, um, they always talk about uh, he's not as consistent as he'd like to be. He doesn't come in and work hard, um, and he doesn't put in the time needed to be a consistent star at that level. Um, so uh, let's flip over to Wimbenyama. I've been following this guy since he was like 14 or 15. I, as you know, I played over in France. So I had some uh, some early uh, knowledge of this guy coming in. Um, you know, he's, he's grown up under uh, Tony Parker. I saw him play against um, uh, the French Tower. What's his name? Uh, Go, Go, uh, Gobert. And uh, my other guy, uh, the other center that played in the league for a little bit, um, slipping my mind right now. But was able to uh, get get early knowledge of him. He's seven foot four with the eight foot wingspan, so slightly longer and taller than uh, Bobo. But what we've seen is this kid works hard. You know, he's under a great coach and pop, but he's been a professional for years, so he knows what it takes to be a professional and play at that level and come in and work hard. You can see by his flexibility, you can see by his handles, you can see by his shot. This kid has put in a ton of work. Um, on and off the court to get himself prepared for this moment in NBA. And within five games, he already put up close to a 40-point game, which we haven't seen from Bobo. As much as I love for Bobo, I wish he was more consistent, wish he had a better work ethic from what I've heard, um, and, and could show something uh, so consistently on the court, get some playing time. I actually went to the Suns, uh, one of the Suns' preseason games, was looking for Bo Bo, the whole crowd was chanting Bo 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 Bo, and he still didn't get in to like the last couple of minutes of the game. So that that right there shows you that they're seeing something in practice that is not allowing him to get onto the court because um, it is a preseason game. Um, you know, this would be the time to try out the guy if he's even worth trying him out. So I don't know, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, but from what I've heard, um, he just isn't consistent on the court. So, um, but yeah. I was hoping Bobo would turn into something, you know, possibly what Wimbenyama's uh, uh, showing right now. And if you see in the first game that they start getting him the ball here, um, he puts up 38 points, shooting like almost 60% from the field. So I'm excited for both of their careers. Obviously, Wimby is uh, a franchise player now, so he's got a little more upside on him. Um, Bobo dropped down uh, a whole bunch of spots due to his injuries coming out of school. So he wasn't really uh, that, he didn't really have the range of the franchise, which may have altered uh, his development and how he uh, how he approaches the game. Um, so, but I definitely wanted to uh, do a comparison video for these two. I know Shaq had, uh, brought that up a couple of my friends have asked me what I think about it um, but like I like I've been saying from the beginning I think that Wimby, Wimby is a generational talent you start to see it a little bit people are starting to come around um, I do know this French league really well um, and they do have some top players top NBA uh, former NBA players that go over there and play um, so it's not a slouch league that he was, you know, kind of dominating. He's kind of the Luka effect where he's been playing professionally. Luka came over and was doing really well. But Wimbenyama's ceiling for this season is defensive player of the year, uh, make an all-NBA team, of course, rookie of the year, but make an all-NBA team and potential all-star in the West. Um, so I think I have... Uh, as far as well, I think they do like forwards now, no centers. So there's there may be an extra spot that he can sneak into, especially if he's averaging, you know, 22, 23, maybe even 25 points a game um, with you know eight, nine rebounds because he does play a little further out. So I am concerned about his rebounding ability, but um, he got his first double double. 
Um, and then, you know, if he can average three blocks, you know, on the defensive side and just changing a ton amount of shots, I think he can. He, he is a dark horse to be an all-star this year as a rookie. So keep on the lookout for that. Um, but this is my comparison of Bobo and uh, Wimby right now. So let's see how this season works out. All right.